There's a little thing that's on your website, which I think is really important. It says evil is real. Then it says, let's get training. Let's talk about kind of the evil is real and what you see, why you have this sort of training company for folks. Yeah. So the, the concept is when you understand the why of what we're doing within any training, whether it's uh, firearms or defense training or anything that you're trying to learn, if you don't understand the why of why you're trying to learn it, it, it will slow down the learning process. So if you understand that evil is real, and I know that you understand that with your background, that evil is real and there are actors in the world that will not live in peace with others. So part of it is to drive home that why, which is our favorite question in training is why are we doing this? Well, evil is real. If you go into a school to, to murder innocent kids, you are the embodiment of evil on this planet. So because that real, that evil is real, we need to train as so, uh, because it is. You, uh, you guys train civilians as well as law enforcement. Let's talk about the kind of people that come out to a training course. I think a lot of people are scared. They, they have that instinct to, to maybe do something defensive. They have that instinct. Maybe I should be involved, but there's a barrier to entry. And when you and I had a private conversation about that, I wonder if you'd share that with the audience here a little bit, that barrier, that bro culture that kind of keeps people from doing it. Yeah. So the, the hard thing, especially with our backgrounds, we were fortunate enough to go through significant amount of uh, significant amounts of training, whether it was military law enforcement or, uh, in the federal side. So we were, we were brought through this in a very systematic manner and it was our job to be pr what we call professionally violent. Anyone can be violent. Professional violence is very precise and tailored and it stops immediately when that, uh, suspect action changes. So for the, for someone who never went through any of that, to take those first steps, it's, it is actually a pretty scary thing when you go on, especially with social media, you go on, you see these guys wearing night vision helmets and they have big beards like me. And they're talking about, uh, well, if you don't do this, you're, you're a clown, or if you don't do this, you're not serious about it. Everything you have to have a night vision thermal imager and a jacked up truck. Well, no, you don't. The, the key is taking charge of your own personal self-defense is really what it's all about. 